Welcome to another segment for the CBRC Yellow Book Reviewer. Let's answer 20 items professional education questions. After that, I will give the correct answer, followed by an explanation. Make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell icon if you haven't yet. So, without any further ado, let's get into the test items. 1. Among recording devices during an assessment, which can the student use to describe behavior and context which observations may be forgotten or remembered incorrectly? A. Anecdotal record. B. Self-assessment. The correct answer is A. Anecdotal record. An anecdotal record is a detailed descriptive narrative recorded after a specific behavior or interaction occurs. Anecdotal records inform teachers as they plan learning experiences, provide information to families, and give insights into identifying possible developmental delays. 2. Among written categories of assessment methods, what instruments did science teacher Julian use when she prepared a list of behavior that make up a certain type of performance in the use of a microscope? A. Product rating scale. B. Performance test. The correct answer is A. Product Rating Scale. A rating scale is a tool used for assessing the performance of tasks, skill levels, procedures, processes, qualities, quantities, or end products, such as reports, drawings, and computer programs. In the given situation, the rating scale is the list of behavior comprised of the use of a microscope. 3. What is the criterion reference test designed to determine? A. Performance level on a specific skill. B. Performance on a wide content of the coverage. The correct answer is A. Performance level on a specific skill. A criterion reference test is designed to measure student performance against a fixed set of predetermined criteria or learning standards. That is, concise written descriptions of what students are expected to know and be able to do at a specific stage of their education. 4. Of the types of validity for tests, what reflects the knowledge and skills in the program of studies? A. Curricular validity. B. Criterion validity. The correct answer is A. Curricular validity. Curricular validity refers to how well test items reflect the actual curriculum. For example, a test is a measure of what's on the curriculum or the program of studies. 5. Principal Ignacio introduced machine scored tests in his school. What factor in scoring does this add to making tests more reliable? A. Objective scoring. B. Ease in checking. The best answer is A. Objective scoring. The use of a test scoring machine is one form of objective scoring. This score is a test utilizing a key or formula. Through this, different scorers will arrive at the same score for the same set of responses. A test is reliable if it measures the same thing consistently and reproducibly. Thus, objective scoring makes the tests more reliable. Since teacher Alvin wants his test to be more reliable, which of the following should he adopt? A. Make a test that requires students the need for more time to complete. B. Increase the number of test items. The best answer is B. Increase the number of test items. Using enough questions to assess competence increases the reliability of a test. Although sensible balance is needed to avoid tests being too long, reliability increases with test length. 
7. What is the graphic illustration for the relationship between two variables? A. Scatterplot. B. Normal distribution curves. The best answer is A. Scatterplot. A scatterplot shows the relationship between two quantitative variables measured for the same individuals. The values of one variable appear on the horizontal axis, and the values of the other variable appear on the vertical axis. While the normal distribution curve represents probability and the total area under the curve sums to 1. 8. In an assessment for problem-based learning, who are responsible for judging student performance? A. Teacher and peers. B. Teacher and students. The best answer is B. Teacher and students. Problem-based learning is an approach that challenges students to learn through engagement in a real problem. During an assessment, the instructor helps students monitor the learner's progress, establish criteria for learning and quality work, and helps students devise their own goals for improvement. This means that the teacher will not be the only judge of students' work. Students will learn to evaluate the work of other students, as well as their own. 9. What should be the basis of remedial instruction? A. Errors, fallings, and lapses. B. Identified systematic errors by students. The best answer is A. Errors, fallings, and lapses. Remedial instruction is arranged for students who have temporarily fallen behind in their studies. Remedial instruction is also offered to students in need of special assistance, thus for students having lapsed. Instruction starts immediately after diagnosing a learning disability to help a student to catch up in the studies. 10. Of the approaches to classroom management, which emphasizes the organization and management of students as they engage in academic work. A. Group managerial approach. B. Business academic approach. The best answer is B. Business academic approach. This is a well-managed classroom that is free from disruptions, where students behave in an orderly manner and are involved enthusiastically in learning, exist where teachers have a clear idea of the type of classroom conditions, students' behavior, and instructional activities they wish to produce. This was developed by Evertson and Emmer. The emphasis was on the organization and management of students as they engage in academic work. In this study, this approach is linked to the teacher who enforces various classroom activities to keep the students busy. Moreover, Evertson and Emmer divide organizing and managing student work into three major categories establishments and communication of work assignments, standards and procedures, monitoring of student work, and feedback to students. Whereas, the group managerial approach to discipline is based on Jacob Koonin's research. In this approach, he emphasizes the importance of responding immediately to group student behavior that might be inappropriate or undesirable to prevent problems, rather than having to deal with problems after they emerge. 11. Teacher Diane is a great lecturer and so she is invited to speak and represent the school on many occasions. What is that one quality when she follows a planned sequence, not diverting to lose the attention of her listeners? A. Continuity B. Fluency. The best answer is A. Continuity. It gives a link from one detail to another. It provides listeners and viewers with clear, consistent communication in learning, understanding, and observing functionality. 12. If the threat of punishment is necessary on erring students, how should this best be done? A. Warn and threat at the same time. B. First a warning before the threat.
The best answer is B. First a warning before the threat. A warning works best as a first consequence because it's easy to be consistent, it's not personal. It builds trust. It's quick and easy. It's stress-free. And, it makes sense to students. You can read a full article about warning should be the first consequence, link in the description box below. 13. For problems of discipline that cannot be resolved in class, which of the following should not be done as it reduces the authority of the teacher? A. Rely on others to resolve your classroom problems. B. Give students a chance to redeem themselves. The best answer is A. Rely on others to resolve your classroom problems. This will only show that a teacher cannot handle classroom situations on his or her own, thus reducing the teacher's authority. 14. What mistake is teacher Mosby trying to avoid when he never drops a topic before it is completed? A. Dangling topic. B. Bounded topic. The best answer is A. Dangling topic. Dangles occur when a teacher leaves a topic without having it finalized, or otherwise drawn the lesson to a full conclusion even if it is not yet completed. 15. Of the approaches to classroom management, which involves a variety of techniques and methods of ranging simple rewards to elaborate reinforcement, for example, praise or rewards. A. Behavioral modification approach. B. Assertive approach. The best answer is A. Behavioral modification approach. 16. To manage behavior, the teacher needs to be able to identify the mistaken goals of students. What is the hidden goal of students who become violent? A. Goal is to get attention. B. Goal is to get revenge. The best answer is B. Goal is to get revenge. For the mistaken goal of revenge, the student believes that when they get hurt, they end up hurting others. It can be difficult to understand the mistaken goal of revenge because too often we have no idea where hurt feelings come from. A student may be hurt by something that happened at home, in another class, or with his or her peers, and then takes it out on the teacher. 17. The class has become uncontrollable, and so teacher Mills decided to have some undisciplined students out of the room to the counselor's office. What did the teacher apply by way of a preventive approach to discipline? A. Removing seductive objects. B. Antiseptic bouncing. The best answer is B. Antiseptic bouncing. This is to remove the student from the classroom setting as the student is becoming frustrated or agitated before inappropriate behavior occurs. 18. To what problem type do students belong to, who have difficulty due to low potential or lack of readiness rather than motivation to work? A. Underachiever. B. Low achiever. The best answer is B. Low achiever. There's a difference between a low achiever and an underachiever. Low achiever learners lack basic knowledge or skills, have difficulty in comprehension, lack concentration, thus low potential or lack of readiness. While underachievers are learners who fail to attain a predicted level of achievement or do not do as well as expected. This is caused by social issues, emotional sensitivities, unchallenging curriculum, undiagnosed learning disabilities, and unsupportive environments. 19. What is the term for the leap from theory to practice in which the teacher applies theories to effective teaching methods and theories? A. 
Integration process. B. Conceptualization process. The correct answer is A. Integration process. It refers to a way of connecting skills and knowledge from multiple sources and experiences or applying skills and practice in various settings. It simply means a bridging connection between academic knowledge and practice. 20. Of the teacher movement behavior subcategories, what is happening when the teacher bursts into activities without assessing student readiness and gives orders, statements, or questions that confuse students? A. Truncation. B. Thrust. The best answer is B. Thrust. Thrusting occurs when teachers fail to give clear, well-worded directions when group attention was upon them. Nondescript directives result in student confusion, complaints, multiple questions as to what to do, conversations with other students, work refusals, and so forth. I hope you get tons of value from this video. Give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'll see you, in the next video.